Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Previously, I purchased a loop hobble from Louis Vuitton. After a few months of use, I noticed that the leather strap was damaged and um, there is some color transfer on the leather under the buckles, under the hardware. So I took the bag to Louis Vuitton store. The salesperson was fantastic. They sent it to Singapore to check and fix or repair. However, they said it was actually um, from a defect Hmm, product line so they decided to ask me to either you know have a new loop hobo or pick something else in the same price it's a very hard decision for me because I, I really like the loop hobo but at the same time I don't want to go through the same process again you know seeing the bag is damaged send it back to the store to check and repair and being told that it's defected um, so even though I really like the loop hobo, I've decided to go for something else. And that means I can choose another bag, which is fantastic, but it really is hard because I just don't find anything that is really attractive, really, really is um, taking my breath. So um, I just have to make some decision what to match my clothes. And I decided to find something white. So he is a newbie. I can't wait to open that up and show you guys. So this on prawn bucket bag in mm size is fantastic um, I just really like the pattern and the shape is so classy but at the same time I just um, find it very big and large I purchased it for a week but I haven't got a chance to use it so I don't know if it still you know suit my lifestyle whether it's too big And when I use it, it's just a little bit too bulky. Can you please leave your comment down below and let me know what you think? Should I keep it or should I find something else? So if I should um, really return this back and look for something else on my shopping list or wish list, I have a few things, but still not perfect. It's not like the loop hobo, I really wanted it and I just went and purchased it without regrets until the bag is damaged, of course. Um, so on my list, I have On The Go, uh, which is on the um, monogram fabric. I, I've tried on the white uh, on the go in a PM size is okay but it's not very nice on me I just don't quite like the shape of the bag in the PM size but in MM size uh, with monogram I think it's classic but apparently it's very heavy so I don't know the, um, the, the pro is it can fit a laptop but the corner is, is too heavy and it's quite formal as well. So I don't know if it's going to end up the same situation is that I don't have enough use of the bag because it's too big. And then I have, um, I have my eyes on the over the moon, which is very similar to the loop hobo, but it's uh, in leather and also it's got a wide range of color selection. And I really, in particular, I really uh, like green and pink and I really like the way that it, you can uh, use it and make the buckles together and make it like a round shape so it looks really cute but that bag is not classy it's not classic that means it's probably not a good investment as well and another choice I have on my mind is the new wa new wave collection uh, which is the top handle and the uh, new wave in the mm size and they both are cute but they they look quite similar to uh, the Gucci marmot which I have and also to the Chanel uh, top handle bags 
Um, so yeah, not perfect. And at the same time, I don't know what colors to choose with the new wave. I really like a white bag, but the white bag is so easy to you know get color transfer. Um, also, um, I just don't find the styles very classic. So um, I just can't make up my mind. I don't know what to do. Can you guys let me know what your thoughts are and have you used any of the new wave bags uh, or the over the moon? Do you enjoy using them? Do you find anything that I should notice before I purchase? Please, I need your opinion. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if I have any update, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Bye.